Will Jasmine Pineda win the beauty pageant on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after? Find out if she walks away with the crown without Gino's help. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after. Star Jasmine Pineda wished to get crowned as the winner of the pageant in Season 8 with Gino Palazzolo working hard as her manager. Jasmine used to work as a teacher in Panama City, where she taught American literature. After she lost her job, Jasmine proceeded to make money from creating adult content and soon moved to the U.S. to marry Gino. Jasmine dreamed of being a real estate agent, but her career took a surprising turn when she decided to participate in a beauty competition. Even though it was her first time being a participant, Jasmine refused to accept constructive criticism from Gino, who paid her entry fees. She called him a pervert when he tried to show her videos of other women who were performing better than Jasmine at rehearsals. Jasmine wished to prove Gino wrong by winning the pageant, but all he wanted was for her to take home the crown. Still, Jasmine has been giving it her best despite not having any former pageant experience. Fans are interested in knowing whether she will emerge as the champion. Jasmine did not talk about what she studied when she was young while on the show. However, in February 2023, Jasmine revealed that she was Dr. Jasmine Panita. Jasmine shared she had a doctoral degree in education and research. Moreover, Jasmine also has seven degrees, which she's earned over the years. She has a Bachelor of Arts in Literature, three master's degrees, a postgraduate degree, and a technical degree, along with the multiple seminars and courses she's attended to get certifications in various areas of education. Jasmine's combination of beauty and brains is the reason Gino had fallen for her. Jasmine put her intelligence to use by choosing to become a teacher at a school. She taught American literature and also worked as a private tutor. However, Jasmine was fired from her job when Gino forwarded her topless photos to an ex to make her jealous. Jasmine took to adult modeling to make a living. She made fans subscribe to her page on OnlyFans by sharing racy photos on social media. Jasmine started putting more effort into eating nutritious food and spending more time at the gym. In the end, her hard work paid off when she was selected to represent Panama at the beauty pageant. Jasmine first thought of being a beauty pageant queen after flying to Miami to celebrate her 38th birthday and meeting her friend from Panama, Leandro. Jasmine didn't feel loved anymore as Gino wasn't giving her the intimacy she expected. Her mom had just been diagnosed with cancer, and Jasmine had no idea when her sons were coming to America. This led to Jasmine facing severe alopecia. Leandro wished to see the old Jasmine back. He introduced Jasmine to a friend who hosted workshops for a beauty pageant. Jasmine attended a workshop for Ms. International World and finally found a purpose. Jasmine went to the workshop that Leandro's friend Willina, a former Ms. International World winner, was hosting. She also met the other participating beauty queens and Angela Facilico, who was the director of the pageant. Jasmine confessed that she was conscious of her age and her alopecia. She wondered if she would look too old. Her fellow queens told Jasmine that age was just a number. They assured her that they should not worry about her alopecia and that most of them were wearing wigs and clippings. Jasmine was taught to love what she saw in the mirror. Gino wasn't supportive of Jasmine's dreams as he refused to pay the participation fees until the last moment after his wife had to beg and plead. When he did pay the money, Gino expressed an interest in being Jasmine's manager as he had almost become Mr. Michigan. He observed how she didn't have good posture and tried to train her using videos of other contestants. Jasmine was injured by Gino criticizing her runway walk. She accused him of not making her feel positive reinforcement and told him he was uninvited from accompanying her at rehearsals. As per the Instagram page for Ms. International World, the event took place in October 2023 at Port St. Lucie, Florida. 22 women from countries such as India, Ukraine, and Uruguay participated and Teres Garnier was crowned as Ms. International World. While it's not been revealed yet whether Jasmine wins the competition on 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after, the Panamanian beauty recently shared a few BTS pictures from the pageant as she thanked the organizers for making her part of the most amazing sisterhood ever. It could just be the start of more such pageants for Jasmine.